All right, guys. 326. I like to get on here just a little bit early. Let you know what equipment we're going to use. All right. Let me just make sure y'all are going to be able to see me. Yes. I think you're going to be able to see me. And I may have to move down just a little bit. All right, guys. Can you, whoever's on, maybe one person's on. Can you hear me? Like, can you write a little, type a little, um, can you hear the music? Can you hear my voice? Right, somebody type. Can you hear my music pretty good? Hear my voice? Hello. Okay, can you hear me pretty well? Yes. Okay, that's what I needed. Okay, so today, you, if you have the equipment, great. If not, that's okay. You're going to yoga block if you have it. If you don't, don't even worry about it. Just some sort of towel or strap or some long resist a band. Something that you can wrap around your um, lower body or you can reach because we're going to be doing some arms and I want you to be able to just have a long band. It doesn't really matter what type. So today is just very super, very basic. Um, elemental Pilates for stretching, a little bit of strengthening, but it's a feel good workout. Uh, yoga prep, we're not going to go into a ton of yoga poses, it's yoga prep poses in order to increase a range of motion. Foam roller for just a little bit. If you don't have a foam roller, I will show you other exercises you can do without the foam roller. We're going to stretch and we are going to relax. After a hard week of working out, let me tell you what, this is the best way to uh, work on range of motion, um, flexibility, lengthening the muscles. There's just absolutely nothing like it. And why not on a Sunday when we're going through what we're going through in the world, <laughs> right? I got some awesome music. So, uh, be sure, got one more minute, be sure to go by my Angie Fitness TV Facebook page. My daughter, Ran literally just rescued an emaciated dog. She's between one and three. She took her to the vet. She got her all vetted. She's doing basic obedience. She cannot keep her. So if you, the community, could help me get the word out, share. Go to Angie Fitness TV and just simply share my post. I'm not asking you to do anything. Share the post if you're in the United States of America, I should say. And I can... Um, drive they decided to name her Luna and I can drive in uh, to different states to make sure she has a good home I always taught my kids you never turn a blind eye when it comes to an animal or people or anybody in need so go over to Angie Fitness TV and share the post with the dog Luna please that's all I ask of you okay guys are you ready 3:30 on the dot let's get this show on the road we're gonna just start with a little warm up. I'm gonna just take this off to the side. Okay, you're gonna have your feet just a little wide, deep breath in, and a nice exhale. It's all about just the breathing. Deep breath in. We're gonna begin this workout with just the Pilates, then we're gonna to go to yoga, then foam rolling, then stretching, and then just a meditative relaxation with a gratitude prayer. Big inhale, 60 minutes, it's the best 60 minutes of your life. <laughs> I promise you're gonna love it, you're gonna feel beautiful when you're done. Again, inhale, and exhale, just center your body. Next one, we're going to do a big inhale and exhale as you roll down and roll it up one vertebra at a time. Three more times. Big inhale. As you exhale, hands on the top of your thighs, roll it down, roll it up. 
two more times. A big deep inhale. Close your eyes if this feels good. Roll it down. Roll it up. Spinal mobility. One more time. Big inhale. And a big exhale. Roll it down. One vertebra at a time. Roll it up. One vertebra at a time. Elbow, shoulder rolls back. Just simply, it's a warm up, guys. Never go into any workout without a warm up. Beautiful day where I'm at today. I made sure before I did, came here, gonna film this, that I did 45 minutes of rebounding. Big arm circles back. I don't care how fast, how slow. Just, it's about opening. It's about lengthening. It's not about how fast you go. All right, guys, you're gonna just crawl your fingertips to your toes and hold. Put a soft bend in your knee if you need to. I know a lot of us don't have that hamstring flexibility. Crawl your hands back up. Put a soft bend in your knee. Crawl your hands down to touch your toes. Again, soft bend in the knees if you need to. Inhaling through your nose. Exhaling through your mouth. I'm going to tell you, after this workout, you're going to feel like you got a deep, beautiful massage. In the range of motion in your joints should feel delightful. Crawl it back up. Put a little bend in your hips. Just sit here. It's really opening up in through that low back there. Now, I want you to round belly button to the spine right here. So everything is rounding forward and release. Belly button to the spine, round, 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 round. And release, just two more. We're gonna go to the ground. Round, so you're just rounding like you're coming over a huge stability ball. And release, one more over just rounding 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 release since we're here let's go fingertips to the ground knees to the ground and that's come so if you have a bony butt like i do i have my man duka yoga mat but then i have a little those foam padded kitchen rugs i have that just to you know keep me a little more padded all right, guys, we're gonna begin with Pilates. We're gonna begin with a pelvic curl bridge. So you're gonna visualize palms down, feet hip width apart. You're gonna come up one vertebra at a time, and you're gonna roll down one vertebra at a time. So your hips are coming to the ceiling. And so we're gonna inhale. As we exhale, you're gonna start from your tailbone. You're gonna roll it off of the floor. You're gonna inhale at the top. As you exhale, begin from the top of your body and roll it down one vertebra at a time. So we're going to come up again. Think coming from my tailbone, low back, mid back, upper back, and I hold and I let my hips just float to the ceiling. I inhale at the top. I exhale as I roll down from my upper back, mid back, low back and my tailbone comes down so let's just continue with that pattern so let's keep going it's a pelvic curl bridge in pilates so come up and then you're just rolling it down one vertebra at a time your spine is like a string of pearls coming up one pearl at a time on your necklace and you're coming down one pearl at a time as you lay the necklace on the ground two more you always inhale to prepare exhale your focus is on rolling up one vertebra at a time moving through wet cement and you inhale at the top and you exhale as you roll down one vertebra at a time Spinal mobility right here, it is so huge for us. Inhale, really visualize, close your eyes if you need to. You're literally coming up 
and you're coming down one vertebra at a time belly button to the spine you're going to bring both knees into the chest you're just going to give it a nice hug today is about elongation lengthening increasing range of motion letting the stress anxiety and fear go let your body breathe and de-stress physically all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a um i'm looking i have all my choreography super oh yeah so we're just going to come up we're going to do a um Supa no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna come up. I'm talking to myself. We're just gonna come up, and we're gonna do a chest lift crunch. You're gonna think of it. Um, it's Pilates, a chest lift crunch. So your hands are behind your head, elbows are open, and you're just gonna take your shoulders off of the mat, and then you're gonna come back down. So you're gonna inhale to prepare. Exhale, sh shoulders off the mat, belly button to the spine. Now in Pilates, we like to visualize we're moving through wet cement. You're gonna take it up, you have the breathing, you inhale to prepare, and you exhale on that exertion right here. Inhale, and exhale, taking the bottom of the shoulder off of the mat. Now visualize, we're gonna keep going with this. If you were moving through wet cement, it would be very difficult, it would be very controlled, it would be proper form, accurate form, and your arms and everything wouldn't just be flailing around. In Pilates, there's intention in every single movement. So you inhale to prepare, and exhale as you do that chest lift crunch. And then you roll it down. Inhale to prepare, exhale as you lift into that Chest lift crunch. One more, you guys. Inhale. And as you exhale, lift and lower. All right. So what we're going to do from here is you're going to take your feet and you're going to walk them out as far as you feel you can. Fingertips come to the ceiling. You're moving through wet cement. Melt your shoulders away from your ears. We're gonna roll up one vertebra at a time. I can do straight legs here, but listen, if you can't, you do bent knees. So we're gonna inhale as we exhale, chin to the chest, and we're gonna roll forward. Our fingertips come past our knees. So this is where you're gonna feel the lengthening in your hamstring, the lengthening in your glutes. You inhale, remember you can put a bend in your knee, and you exhale, but look, you roll down one vertebra at a time, like a string of pearls moving through wet cement. Very, very intentional movement. Again, inhale. And as you exhale, belly button to the spine, engage your core, move through the wet cement. Your arms are not flailing. Try to get your fingertips past your toes. That's where you're gonna really elongate on the posterior side of your body. Inhale to prepare. Exhale as the belly button comes to the spine. Shoulders melted away from your ears. And you are literally rolling down one vertebra at a time through that wet cement. Two more, inhale. And as you exhale, chin to the chest, engage that core the shoulders away from your ears as you reach your fingertips past your toes feel the lengthening feel the opening feel the releasing inhale and as you exhale shoulders back down and away core engaged moving through the wet cement coming down literally like a string of pearls you control the movement last set inhale as you exhale do your body engagement as you reach over and lengthen just a little more breathe just a little deeper let go just a little more inhale 
And as you exhale, you have to engage your shoulders back down and away from your ears. You must move through that wet cement. And you must come down like a string of pearls. Very controlled, very slow, very intentional. Release. All right, you're going to grab one leg. It doesn't matter which leg. Now, you can have your leg that is not, you're not grabbing, can be straight or it can be bent. That is up to you and it depends on how your body feels. But the leg that you are holding on to, you are just going to lengthen it. You're going to point the toes, you're going to flex, you're going to work on ankle mobility right here. And we are going to circle. All right, guys, you're going to do palms down. Now, again, your foot can be here. Visualize your big toe is drawing the perfect circle to the ceiling. Point your toe and let the big toe draw a circle to the ceiling. We are doing this because we are, are opening up in through the hip joint right now. You're moving through the wet cement. So you've got to control the movement. Your core is engaged. All right. Ooh, I got to bend my knee. Core is engaged. You are very steady, very strong in through your midsection. Your midsection is not moving. Think about it. You're moving the femur in the hip socket. Reverse your circle. You are creating new synovial fluid. It is like WD40 for the joint. When you're taking that femur and you're moving it, you're rotating it internally and externally, you are creating synovial fluid in through the joint. Not necessarily creating, but you're moving it around. All right, guys, let's hug that knee. Let's send that leg away. Let's bring that other knee in. Let's just get a nice little stretch. Feel free to point, flex, circle, whatever feels good for you. But now we're gonna lengthen. Remember the leg that is not working can be straight down just like this, or it can be here. I am good right here. Now, so point and flex just a little more. Melt those shoulders away from your ears. Circle. All right, palms down, point the toe. Draw a circle with that big toe. You may notice one side, you can draw a better circle to the ceiling and the other side, you cannot. That will tell you where your muscle imbalances are. So for me, this side, I'm locked up a lot more. No big surprise, <laughs> I'm rehabbing <laughs> my hamstring and my knee, so. Um, I'm working on improving my range of motion into my joints on this side. Move through wet cement, please. If you're moving through wet cement, you would control the movement. Your core is engaged. You're not moving around in your midsection. You are just working on the femur rotating around in circles. Reverse your circle right here. Just reverse that circle. There's absolutely no tension in your head and neck or shoulders. Visualize the perfect circle moving through that wet cement, opening up in through that hip joint as you circle your femur bone in, out, and around like you're stirring a pot of stew in through that hip joint. You feel the lengthening. You feel the opening. You feel just a tension releasing. Why don't you give that leg a big hug for me? All right, we're gonna bring that other knee in. We're gonna give it a little love. We're gonna just grab on top or below one leg. Now, we're gonna go chin to the chest. We're gonna just sit so you're not grabbing behind the knee. You can grab below, you can always bend if you cannot straighten and you don't have the flexibility. 
we're gonna do two pulses in, move through the wet cement, and two pulses in with the leg. Two pulses in, and two pulses in. So your arm, your hands are pressing two in, pressing two in. So press, press it in, press, press. One more each side. So two pulses in, pulse it in, pulse it in. One more time, pulse it in, pulse it in. Grab, let, let go of your head, grab behind your knees, roll it up. All right, so what we're gonna do is rolling like a ball. This is a beautiful exercise in Pilates. You're gonna come up on your toes. It gives us a beautiful spinal massage. You always melt your shoulders away from your ears. And let me show you one. Chin to the chest, and you roll back, and you come up. Now, the goal is not to have your toes touch the ground, but if they need to, that's okay. So we're gonna go for eight. Let's roll it back. And let's hold one. Roll it back. Beautiful spinal massage. Hold two. Roll it back. Hold three. Just do the best you can. That's all I want. Roll it back. Four. Oh, we're already releasing, guys. Roll it back. Five. Roll it back. Six, two more. Great spinal massage. Roll it back. And seven, one last time. Roll it back. And eight. Okay, we're gonna sit with our legs forward. Again, if you can't maintain straight legs, just you can prop something underneath your knees, um, you know, something little under your knees, or you can just put a little bend in your knee. It doesn't matter, okay. So, I'm going to face you so you can see me. You have a wall in front of you. You have a wall behind you. You must sit up really tall. The crown of your head is growing tall to the ceiling. You have a steel rod going all the way up your butt, through your spine, through the crown of your head. You're a soldier. All right, we're going to do thumbs up. We're going to inhale as we look at the left hand and exhale as we follow it behind our body. Spinal rotation, sit up tall. Inhale as we look at our right hand, and exhale as we follow our right hand behind, but we're sitting up tall. Inhale, and exhale. Flex your feet if you can. You have a wall in front of you, a wall behind you, intentional movement. Inhale, and exhale. Sit up tall. Inhale, releasing through the spine, spinal mobility. Again, inhale as you come center, sit up tall. Exhale, Pilates, the whole class, you are working on posture. One more each time. You got the breathing. So you inhale to prepare, and you exhale. Okay, what we're gonna do from here is take our feet wide. We're gonna do palms down. Again, so you're gonna watch me. So both butt cheeks or your sit bones, your butt cheeks are on the ground. We're gonna inhale as we twist and exhale as our pinky toe, our pinky finger tries to reach past our pinky toe. So you're gonna come with me, sit up tall, flex your feet again, put a bend in your knee if you need to. We're gonna inhale as we twist and exhale as we reach our front and back arm in opposite directions and we're trying to cut off our pinky toe. We inhale as we unravel and roll back to center. Twist with an exhale and reach. Both butt cheeks are super glued to the mat. Inhale as you come center and exhale as you reach, but you better keep both butt cheeks on the mat. Do not lift your butt cheek. Inhale as you come center and exhale as you reach. You're gonna feel a lot of lengthening. One more each side. Inhale as you unravel. Twist with an exhale. Reach, work the arms in opposition, moving through wet cement. A big inhale. Exhale as you twist. Somebody's pulling your front arm and your back arm in opposite directions. Come forward. 
and breathe. Okay guys, awesome. We're moving on now to yoga poses. Um, so, I would love for you to grab your towel, your long resistive band, whatever you have. I want you to do a body check. Right now, just feel. You should feel really loosened. I just gave you a very beginner and basic Pilates session. Okay, we're gonna move to yoga prep poses. We're gonna do the shoulder stretch with the strap. So you, any side, remember, resist a band, towel, whatever. So you're gonna have one hand up here and I'm just gonna turn around so you can see me. So you're just gonna grab, so range of motion, you're gonna grab as high as you can and you're just, we're gonna sit. We're gonna open up and through the shoulder blade. Now, again, maybe your hand only goes here. Maybe you can walk your hand up more. Maybe you can't. Maybe you're so good, you can grab hand to hand. All right, keep going. All right, guys, keep going. So this is shoulder stretch right here. We're gonna sit and we're gonna breathe into it we're gonna sit up nice and tall there's no tension in our body we often don't take time to sit and really stretch and this is a perfect time to do it on a Sunday afternoon it's gonna you can even do this before bed and it's really delightful for the body okay you're gonna just shake that out now if you ever feel like you have a rush of blood that's because you're just really opening and loosening. Again, so you have your strap, you're holding it, and your other hand grabs and it pulls it down. Just opening up in through the shoulders. It is opening up in through the triceps as well. Lengthening, this is a tricep stretch. In yoga, it's a shoulder stretch with a strap. You're gonna find a lot of exercises cross over. So right here, opening, feel the opening in through that shoulder, feel the tricep releasing. Ah, breathing deep, inhaling, and exhaling, just letting it go. And now we're gonna just take and we're gonna release it. I'm so tight in my triceps, I can feel just the, the blood flow. Okay, what we're gonna do from here, you're gonna pick a leg. Now, you're just going to grab where you can. This is hip, internal, rotator, and extension stretch. So what you're gonna do is we're working on hip mobility. You're sitting up tall and you're just you're cradling your leg and we're just rocking back and forth now if this is good i want you to stay here okay now some of us have the flexibility we can go higher with it you can just grab you want to support it though and you want to feel that you're just going rocking in and out. It creates a lot of hip mobility. If you have a lot of restrictions, be gentle with the joint, decrease the range of motion, and don't go so far. Now, again, let me show you another option. If you can, you can straighten, you can go forward, you can go back, it's still the hip internal rotation and extension stretch. So you may like to rock it. You may like to just hold it with one hand and rock it back and forth. Many options for one exercise. This should feel delightful. Again, if not, you're sitting up tall and you're just rocking side to side. We're really trying to get improved range of motion 
in through that hip joint and release that should feel really good now you're going to take your other leg you're going to cradle it because we need to see how it feels never just start going really fast and really quick let's see how it feels remember one side you may have greater range of motion than the other side so if that's feeling good and you're used to doing a one hand rock go to the one hand rock if you're used to doing straight leg go back to it but what i'm saying is go into the stretch very very slowly see how the joint is feeling test out the mobility conservatively and then go from there so today is a good day for me on this so you're just rocking it back and forth in a manner in which is pleasing to you it should feel good it should not hurt you should feel the release you should feel the opening right here and you're rocking it in and out and with each rock you should feel that hip joint opening even more no tension in the head neck or shoulders we're releasing all the tension today oh wow beautiful release I, I got some big releases from that. Okay, guys, we're going to go into the psoas and quad stretch. That's why I love this little foam rug. So we're going to just start here. Whoop, ooh, cramping in my quad. So we're just going to start here, okay? Some of us, this is perfect. Now I'm going to show you another option. If you have your yoga mat, or sorry, your yoga block, you may want to just put your hand on the yoga block. You can put your hand on the top of your thighs, shoulders melted away from your ears. Now, if you're comfortable here and you have the flexibility, I'm going to show you what you can do. So you're still stretching. You are still stretching. This is where the psoas stretch comes in. Right there. Pick it up. So this is a, a gold gym yoga strap. So my foot is just placed in it. Whoo! So this is a psoas and quad stretch. Now, if it's too much on your knee, that's why I always have to pad my knee, just take it down. For a lot of us, it's too much. Another option is to grab it with your hand. But you can have your yoga block. You can even have it really high. You can be up like this. So we're doing that. But again, sometimes I have to triple pad or use this foam pad. Take it up. There we go. So you got to play around with it. Again, I wouldn't expect somebody brand new to stretching to be able to do this. I'm giving you all options where you can go, but this is a psoas and quad stretch. Always make sure your knee is protected. I don't like to be on a hard surface when I'm doing this. I love to use my yoga block. So I have it long ways, have it next to me, and release. Another option, I just want to show you, this is a foam balance pad. So if you have a foam balance pad, that's even better. So you can just rest it there. Take the other leg forward. Let's just see how this feels. Let's get into the quad stretch first. For some of us, this is all we wanna give. If you have that yoga strap, you can put it around your foot. So you have to determine how deep you wanna take it. Your stretch should never hurt. It should feel really good. Breathing deep, opening, lengthening, and letting go. So now I'm gonna try to reach for my foot. This foam balance pad 
really makes it doable for my knee so my knee doesn't hurt. I'm holding on to that yoga block because I need it for a little more added stability. Psoas and quad stretch. This is a yoga preparatory exercise. If we do what I'm showing you today, it helps us get into our yoga poses a lot deeper. Beautiful stretching today. I am a certified yoga instructor. I am registered with Yoga Alliance. I am a comprehensive Pilates trained instructor as well. And a AFA Group Fitness. I hold many certifications. And take it down. And let's come off. Okay, let's take that away. So right now we're gonna do some arm shoulder stretches. You're gonna sit however is comfortable for you. I like to sit Indian style. You can have one hand on one foot on top of the other. However you like to sit. We're gonna take our right hand. So we're gonna open up and throw our shoulders. Your left hand is gonna wrap under. So right hand right here. Left hand wraps under the right and your palms meet each other. Right here, this is your arm shoulder stretch. You're gonna feel this in the right side of your body. Arm shoulder stretch. Now, what you can do is if you need a greater stretch, you lift your arms up higher. I obviously don't need that. I, your stretch should never be painful. It should feel really, really good. You're sitting up tall. We're not slouching. Your core is engaged. And we are opening up in through the arms and the shoulders. You're just inhaling into the deepest part of the lungs. And you're exhaling and you're enjoying the stretch, I'm just gonna come to the side so you can see me right here. Nice inhalations and exhalations. Your spine is growing tall to the ceiling. You're letting all the unnecessary energy leave your body and release and release. You really should have felt that stretch. Again, sit any way you want. Left hand is here. Right arm wraps under the left arm. And your palms face each other and you lift. So I'm just gonna come to the side so you can see me. So you're gonna be feeling this maybe in both shoulders Maybe more in that left shoulder. Working on arm shoulder stretching right here. Breathing it through, feeling, letting all these tense and tight muscles release. With every breath, it releases just a little more. Focus on the breathing this whole workout. Focus on the releasing. Focus on the letting go. And release. You really should have felt that stretch. Okay, we're gonna do shoulder extens uh, uh, shoulder flexion stretch. So we're gonna just take our fingertips. They're gonna face our butt cheeks. Now we can put a bend in our knee. This is shoulder flex flexor stretch. And you just lift, but you're lifting through the chest and you're opening up and through the chest and we're stretching the shoulder flexors. Right here, fingertips are facing in. Now, this is option one right here. Option two just depends right here. But today, I don't want to use my lower body as much. So I want to think opening up in through the shoulders. 
you have the weight evenly distributed in your hands and you feel the sh just the opening in through the shoulders let's go come on guys you can do it opening 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 I like to hold stretches for 30 seconds and come down and release. All right, good job. All right, we're gonna do intense. We're gonna stand up now. Feet are hip width apart, shoulders melted away from our ears. All we're gonna do is do an intense forward bend pose. Feet hip width apart. All we're gonna do is our fingertips are gonna reach our toes. This is intense forward bend pose. In aerobics, it's just called lean forward. <laughs> In yoga, it's intense forward bend pose. So you have the weight evenly distributed among both feet. Shoulders melted away from your ears. Letting your body hang. Again, you can have a bend in both knees. Your body should really really feel very open very relaxed and at this point in class you should be able to go deeper into your stretches in a very feel good manner because we're 37 minutes in your joints have really really gotten a lot of flexibility and stretching in let the head just hang dead weight why don't we grab each elbow and let the body just hang a little more they call it intense forward bend pose because it is intense again put a bend in your knees if straight legs is too much Evenly distribute the weight among both feet. Don't lean it to the right or the left leg more. You want to feel the weight is evenly distributed among both the right and left leg. Put a bend in your knee, hands on the top of your thighs. Roll it up one vertebra at a time as you move through the wet cement. All right, guys, we're going to finish. You got to sit back. We're going to finish with the tree pose. Feet hip width apart. You're going to start with your toe on the ground. Hands here. Walk it up as you can. Open up in through your hip. Open up and through the hip. Nice tree pose right here. Whoop. Working on balance. We've got to move on. We are done once we do the other side. We're done with yoga. I'm gonna do quick foam rolling, quick stretching, and we're gonna do some positive affirmation or gratitude affirmations. You guys, I hope you are feeling the release your body is giving you and that you are allowing it. Let's go to that other side. Again, you begin with the toe, and this is good enough, and you begin to walk it up and you see what is good for you. You are a tree. Your palms are pressing in towards each other, engaging the chest and the arms. So do about a 10 to 12% press in with your hands. It engages the chest muscles and a little bit of those arms. Sway in the wind, work on balance. Now, if you don't, have a foam roller. That is okay. I will show you how to do the stretches on the ground. So right now, if you have a foam roller, get it. If you don't, don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna start the people with no foam roller. Okay, I'm gonna tell you to switch. Basically, we're gonna be working our piriformis. If you don't have a foam roller, you're going to grab one leg, you're going to sit here, and you're going to hold just like this, and I'll tell you when to switch. All right, got that? So you don't have to have it. Okay, foam rolling people, sit your butt cheeks on. You're going to take one leg, just like I did, 
just like we did as seated. You're gonna lean onto that side. You're gonna roll up and back. So I took the leg that I'm not using, just placed it on the other. So if you're on the ground, you're just holding that piriformis stretch. If you have the foam roller, you're rolling on one butt cheek, forward and back, right here. So don't worry, no foam roller required. I show both how to stretch and they're both phenomenal stretches. I want you to hold it if you're on the ground with each inhalation, with each exhalation, you're just going deeper, very lightly, deeper into that stretch. If you're on the foam roller, this is one of my most delightful stretches. This is a piriformis. It's gonna release your glute medius, glute minimus, and it's gonna hit your gluteus maximus as well. It's gonna hit some of the origin points of the hamstrings. Just a great one. Everybody switch. If you're on the ground, you're grabbing and you just are doing the other side. If you're with me on the foam roller, you just switch legs, you rotate on the other butt cheek, and you just go back and forth. Now, if you do not have a foam roller, they're fairly inexpensive, and they really are a great way to release your myofascia. It's just a great way to get deeper and release deeper. It really is. Um, you're not gonna regret buying a foam roller. It's a very cheap addition, but don't worry. If you don't have the money, no big deal. So if you're on the ground, you're just really sitting in that stretch, inhaling, exhaling, trying to go deeper into the stretch, right? All right, guys. Let's come off the foam roller, all of us. Let me show the people on the ground. You're gonna just do a hamstring stretch. You can hold onto your strap, your towel, your resist band Grab here, above or below the knee. You're just gonna sit here, hold this hamstring stretch. Only one side, okay? So if you're on the foam roller, you're gonna go back and forth and you're gonna rotate. Let's start with the toes out. So if you're on the ground, you're just picking one leg, you're using a strap, the resist band, a towel, whatever you have, and you're stretching the hamstring, it's going to be a static, isometric style stretch. Where what we're doing on the foam roller is a dynamic stretch. We're just adding movement. If you're on the foam roller, toes forward, and there's really no right and wrong in stretching. <laughs> stretching is all perfect, it's all good. Now, toes in if you're on the foam roller, like your big toes are trying to face each other. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so you're gonna switch, the people are on the ground. Keep going on if you're on the foam roller. You're gonna switch legs, all right? You're switching legs right now if you're on the ground. Put your other strap on, whatever you're comfortable with other leg. Us on the foam roller, we're going to move to our calves. Now let me show you different ways you can do the calf. Some of us have really super tight calves and we can't do both at the same time. So it's okay. You can foam roll one calf. If you're on the ground, you're still doing that hamstring stretch to that other side. So ways you can do calf stretches and then just switch to the other side. Now, a lot of us, our calves are like our sticking point, but if you don't have tightness, you just can roll back and forth. I kind of prefer the single leg. You can just get in and you can rotate your toes out, neutral and in. So you're hitting the different parts of your calf, right? Great job. And just, you know, you're just switching. If you're on the ground, you're in your final moments of that nice hamstring stretch. All right, and everybody's gonna release. Let me, we're gonna do one more on the foam roller. Let me get the other people started. All right, if you're on the ground, you're just gonna grab the top leg. You're gonna try to take your heel to your butt, and you're gonna do a nice quad stretch. 
right here. Knee hip alignment, and you're gonna get a nice quad stretch. You're gonna stay in that. If you're with me, the foam roller, you just come forward and back. We're quad stretching both at the same time. So again, it's all beautiful, no matter <laughs> how we stretch, right? So on the foam roller, a lot of us are gonna find our quads are really, really, really tight. So you may need to foam roll really slow. Up and back, really slow. Nothing too quick. Right here. Ooh. If you're on the ground, you have 10 more seconds. You're gonna switch to that other side for 30 seconds. I always like to hold my static stretches for a minimum of 30 seconds. You're gonna get some carry over the muscles. Anything less than 30 seconds I find does not work for my body. Okay, you're switching. If you are on the ground, you're going to that other side. Don't worry, us on the foam roller, <laughs> we're good. Now, don't roll on the kneecap. You can roll slightly above the kneecap and you can hang out there and do little rolls up and back. It depends. How tight are you? Is one side tighter than the other? You got 20 seconds if you're on the floor. You're still doing that other side, that other quad stretch. Yeah, it's all good. Whew. And then you can go back. So you can just do little small pulses. If you notice you're tight in one specific area, you can sit and hold, roll it back and forth. All right, guys, we're all done with that. I want everybody to grab a yoga strap. We're going to do some beautiful stretches now. It's all beautiful, but these are delightful extra. We're going to just come here. We're going to take one leg out. We're going to open up in through our pelvic region, in through our groin. Again, you're going to put a bend in your knee if it's too much to maintain a straight leg. We're just about done, guys. I am so proud of you. Woo, I hope you're doing a body check-in and I hope you're like, wow, this is absolutely amazing. Now, let me give you, show you something. You could do little rocks, very slight, very minimal, but rock it up, down, up, down, just a little dynamic movement. Sometimes the body likes that. Other times, it likes it when you just sit very still. Let's cross our body. And then we're taking our other hand, looking over our opposite shoulder, putting a bend in the knee if we need to. We're working on spinal mobility rotation, and we're working our tensor fascia lata and our gluteus minimus muscle right here, opening and releasing breathing it through. I understand this is a deep stretch. Putting a bend in the knee, if you need to, it's all good. Oh, just let go, guys. Let go and release. to spend a little extra time in this stretch a lot of us have issues with our TFL our hip abductor area and spinal rotation and back so I want to just spend a little extra time holding this static stretch you're gonna find your low back will open up a lot more if we sit in this stretch okay you ready let's switch legs just put whatever you have towel whatever you use out to the side and let it just release it should feel really good you're opening up in through the adductors the inner thigh in through the groin you're releasing you're letting go do not hold on to the tension let it release let it release sometimes I gotta do little rocks up and back just to release it a little more so when I say dynamic stretching, it's stretching with movement 
but we're, it's not going to hurt our muscles while we're lengthening. It's very minimal movement, very minimal movement. Some of us like to just sit and hold the stretch, a static stretch. Some of us prefer dynamic, just a little bit of movement in that joint to make it go a little more. Cross your body. Look over your opposite shoulder. We're gonna sit here for one minute and then we're gonna go into meditation. Just release, let go. 30 more seconds here, guys. We're going to do a body scan, meditation, and a gratitude prayer to finish us off. again all right guys take everything away we're gonna just lay you're gonna close your eyes right now is the time if you want to put something on your eyes turn off your light this is your active meditation and body scan last eight minutes of class close your eyes listen to my talk deep breath in And an exhale. Again, deep breath in. And exhale. One more time. Deep breath in. And Take your arms over your head, point your toes, reach your arms in opposite directions. Somebody is pulling your arms, somebody is pulling your legs, your body is stretching in opposite directions. Let your body tighten, let it stretch in opposite directions. Release your hands back down, palms down. So right now, tense up your leg muscles really tight. Tense them for three, two, as tight as you can, and release. One more time, tighten your leg muscles, tighten your butt cheeks, tighten as tight as you can, as tight as you can, as tight as you can, and release. Your upper body, make a fist, tighten your upper body as tight as you can as tight as you can for three, two, one, and release. One more time, tighten up your upper body, tight, 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 and release. Keep your eyes closed, breathe into the deepest part of the lungs, Inhalations and nice exhalations. Just breathe, let go, release the tension from your head, neck, and shoulders. Take the tension out of your eyes, out of your face. Let your legs just fall.
All right, guys, start wiggling your toes, wiggling your feet. Begin to awaken your body. Feel how loose it feels, how great it feels. You can roll over to your side. Your top hand is gonna pick you up. You're gonna come into a seated position, eyes closed. Come into a seated position, eyes closed. I'm gonna turn off the music and I'm gonna read a gratitude, a gratitude prayer. Eyes are closed, and I'll finish with a gratitude prayer by Louise Hay. Keep your eyes closed and listen deeply. Deep, all the center of my being, there is an infinite well of gratitude. I now allow this gratitude to fill my heart, my body, my mind, my consciousness, my very being. This gratitude radiates out from me in all directions, touching everything in my world, and returns to me as more to be grateful for. The more gratitude I feel, the more I am aware that the supply is endless. The use of gratitude makes me feel good. It is an expression of my inner joy. It is a warm fuzzy in my life. I am grateful for myself and for my body. I am grateful for my ability to see and hear, feel and taste and touch. I am grateful for my home and I take loving care of it. I am grateful for my family and friends and I rejoice in their company. I am grateful for my work and I give it my best at all times. I am grateful for my talents and abilities, and I continually express them in ways that are fulfilling. I am grateful for, for my income, and I know that I prosper wherever I turn. I am grateful for all my past experiences, for I know that they were part of my soul's growth. I am grateful for all of nature, and I am respectful for every living thing. I am grateful for today, and I am grateful for the tomorrows to come. I am grateful for life now and forever more. A gratitude prayer. We are done. I hope you enjoyed today's class. I hope it was very meaningful comment, share, let me know what you thought, and let me know how your body feels. It should feel oh, like absolutely wonderful. That's the only thing I, it just feels wonderful. Okay guys, I'm going to see you Monday for our live.